Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ali. Uh, I've been teaching accounting, business, law and economics for over 20 years. I'm here to share my experience. I'm here to improve your trading skills, reduce your risk and improve your strategy. Uh, this is the second series in uh, lessons today. The objective of the lesson today will be to look at diversification of the stock. And before I do that, I'd like to share with you my trading journey. Um, I started my trading journey in July 2020 uh, after the decline of the economy, uh, which started in March 2020 due to the virus uh, and the decline in business. Uh, one of the mistakes I made at that time was to investing my uh, capital into just two shares. One was BP, one was Shell. Uh, and I just put the money in, left the money there, assuming the economy was going to recover, things are going to go back to normal, and the oil companies will be the first to recover. Obviously, this was a big mistake. Uh, the virus was much bigger than I anticipated and most people anticipated, and my capital went down 25%, so I was in a 25% loss. So in October, I re evaluated my strategy. This time I focused on diversification, took my money out and today my portfolio is standing at a profit of over 67% from the original amount invested. In the previous video, uh, if you haven't seen that, please uh, check that one. Uh, I talked about what is a share, what are the um, uh, factors that are, can affect the value of a share and today lesson two we're going to look at diversification why is that important and why does that reduce your risk and why is that uh, something that you need to consider in your portfolio this is a mistake I made myself in July from that change in strategy from um, September my portfolio was instantly growing Okay, so basically, if you have a look at the image uh, in the corner there, uh, this is one example of how to diversify your portfolio. You can consider shares in, in the health industry, in energy, in utilities, in finance, uh, in IT. And uh, something that I have focused also on is uh, the EV sector. So this is one of my strategies that I used and uh, there was an instant boom. Uh, one of the first shares I purchased was NEO at $28. Uh, the current value of NEO today is close to 60, close to $60. I think it closed at $56, but we're looking at nearly 100% growth there. Um, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is look at my portfolio. So what I would like to do is share with you my current portfolio uh, and go through all the shares. I'm going to go through all the profits that I'm uh, currently at and all the losses I'm currently at, just to give you an idea of some of the decisions I made and some of the strategies of buying them and selling them and sharing that knowledge with you in this journey. Okay, now before I share my portfolio, one thing I would like to remind the viewers is this um, channel is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a financial advisor, so everything that I'm sharing with you is, is my experience as, and my opinion, and it's purely for entertainment purposes. And let's get into my first stock. So uh, in terms of my overall portfolio, uh, I have actually divided this up into 30% high risk shares and 70% low to medium risk. This is not normally what is recommended. So this is a personal choice uh, because when you invest money in shares, you should invest money you're prepared to lose. And I've taken more of a high risk approach. The rec I would recommend most people to probably uh, divide your shares at between 3% and 10% in low in high risk. Uh, and th this way, there's, there's more uh, guarantee that your money is not going to be at risk. Okay, so let's start with my high risk portfolio shares. First one is Alpine, a a ticker symbol ALPP. Uh, this stock, as you will see, um, 
my current return is uh, over 188 percent at one time it was over 300 percent there has been a significant dip i do expect that to go back uh, one of the reasons why that is uh, government legislation in the u.s is now uh, more positive for american owned drones and the chinese owned drones will no longer be able to uh, trade as freely as they were before so there is more of a potential growth in this stock uh, there is a dip but i expect that to go up um, second stock i would like to tell you about is my best stock uh, this one is battery um, and the ticker symbol for this is abml american battery metals as you can see this is my best stock this one i achieved a return in profit of 322 percent however i at one time i was over 400 percent up so in this share i've actually cashed in my profits and cashed in my investment and left a fraction of my profits which are still doing very well okay the next two shares are probably my two riskiest shares uh but with the potential of probably the biggest returns the first one ticker symbol atvk this is the one i spoke to about yesterday this is the one going through a, a, a court case once that court case is um, resolved and if it's resolved in favor of atvk then this will escalate the share price and it will rocket potentially at the moment my return is 50 percent, which i'm very happy with i have taken profits but i'm looking for uh, much more growth okay so the second stock is probably my riskiest stock this one is sick symbol cciv this has shot up purely based on rumors uh, the rumor is a potential joining together with lucid motors which is a uh, saudi funded with the potential billions of investment uh, again another rumor just coming through that i've um, observed is private jet of uh, board members coming over to the usa and also been released through bloomberg so not confirmed but it is a rumor and this is going to potentially uh, you know escalate the share price uh, i'm already 19 percent up and hoping for more okay my next two investments which are also considered high risk uh, the first one is dsgt i'm currently three percent down on this one uh, there has been a decline in the share price however i believe this is just a market correction i expect the share price to go back up i'm not too worried about this uh, there's also a similar thing happened with galaxy if you have a look at galaxy uh, i initially invested in galaxy the profits went up to over 100 percent i did cash out and i've just reinvested uh, the dip if you have a look at the dip and i'm currently 11 percent up there is more positive news galaxy is a debt-free business with a fantastic product in education if this can potentially go to the mass market in the future to go to europe in the future go to asia then this will take this stock very far so it's it's a high risk investment with potential excellent growth okay next part of my portfolio is where i i hold 70 percent of my investment this one is considered low to medium risk uh, the first uh, one i have is roku as you can see ticker symbol roku this has got fantastic this had a fantastic run up uh, for through the year i expect this to continue uh, i have only just invested quite late into this uh, so therefore my return so far is three percent another one i've just reinvested in is i believe it's a medium to risk it's not low risk it's a medium risk with a potential of uh, excellent growth and that is ticker symbol bngo uh, and that was been trending for a while uh, i'm currently level so um, i'm you know i'm expecting that to to also rise okay, the next one i've invested in is clover ticker symbol clov i am currently 13 percent down in this one uh, again i'm not too worried about this because clover is a huge organization with potential for huge growth i believe this is grossly undervalued uh, if you look at that and compare what they're doing to the valuation there is huge room for improvement so uh, it's one i'm not going to be taking my money out i'm going to be leaving it in there and i'll be looking for a significant growth possibly two to three x in the year 2021 uh, yesterday i talked about fiverr uh, fiverr i'm currently 27 percent up on fiverr and i expect 
at least 2x in this year uh, as a minimum. Uh, in the year 2021, Fiverr escalated more than 9x, which is more than um, Tesla. So it's it's fantastic. It's a fantastic stock. Okay, uh, one of my recent uh, um, investments has also been in Grow Generation, ticker symbol GRWG. I'm currently 3% up in this one. Uh, this one is in agriculture, in medicine, in organic products, uh, and there's a huge potential. This is, uh, you know, an organization. Currently, the share price is fifty one dollars and eleven, uh, and then over the year they've had a growth of one thousand percent. So this company and is is going places. So this is I see this one as as low risk. Um, the other one I've invested, I would consider this as medium risk, and that one is Mara, uh, ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. This is a Bitcoin-related uh, stock. I'm currently 1% down, but I believe I've bought at the at the bottom, and this is kind of the, uh, you know, the support line where I believe it's going to be around here. I expect uh, this to run up possibly 20 25%, but it's a very volatile stock. However, over the year, I expect sustained returns. The next two investments I've got is ticker symbol NIO, N-I-O. Currently 2% down. This is one of my first investments in uh, September where I purchased NIO at $28. Uh, last week, I sold NIO at $62. I could have sold it at $66. However, I did anticipate a crash and um so i i i cash my profits in i've just rebought neo at the price of 58 it's currently trading at 56 and i expect neo to run up to at least 100 by december uh, the other investment i have is oeg ticker symbol oeg and this one i'm five percent down but looking at the organization the potential the future i expect this to uh, run up into significant profit next two stocks that i have uh, investments in is first one is ttcf ticker symbol ttcf tattoo chef this one focuses on vegetarian foods uh, they have huge potential at the moment so ttcf do not invest heavily in advertising they have a deal with costco uh, and i think they're also grossly undervalued and this one could potentially 3x. I consider this one as, a, as one of my low risk investments. I also have investment with SBE. If you have a look at ticker symbol SBE, uh, Switchback Energy. This I'm currently 2% down. However, I believe this is going to only in the short term, this is going to run up uh, $50 plus. Uh, and I'm very, very confident. They have a fantastic business model. I'm very confident that this one will give 2x returns. Okay, the next two investments I have are in the medical sector. Uh, these are ticker symbol CRSP, CRISPR uh, Therapeutics. This one a business is involved in uh, gene editing. Um, it's um, looking at um, operations in London, the UK, the US. It's based in Switzerland. ARC, ARC have also got significant investments in CRISPR. Over the one year, they have had growth of 242%. My investment is currently 6% up. Um, I've not been with them too long, but this one is one of my long-term investments. I would not be withdrawing my money from CRISPR. The next one I have is PacB. So again, PacB is uh, another long-term investment. They ran up very, very well. They have sustained growth, and ARC have also invested in PacB. I am 3% down. In this but again certainly not worried and i expect this to give me sustained growth of two to three x okay so the next stock i consider this one my lowest risk stock out of all of them this is an etf fund and it's clean energy ticker symbol uh let me just get that ticker symbol um a i n r g so this is a uk based stock um uh, so far i have nine percent return it has recently gone down over the last week at five percent so it is a good up buying opportunity right now if anybody's looking for a, a good value etf so that one is clean energy i'm still nine percent up on that and the final stock i have which is probably one of my biggest losses at the moment 
and that is BEAM, ticker symbol B -E -M. I'm down 12%. However, the business model is, is good. They have had excellent growth over the year, and I believe this is just a market correction. Once that has uh, rectified itself, I think BEAM will, will easily get to over $100. Okay, so now that just brings us to the end of the video. The last thing I'd like to say is that I also invest uh, in short-term trades. Uh, the recent short-term trades I've had where I go in and out of just over a few days. Uh, CL, ticker symbol CLWD, uh, with returns over 100%. I also invested in TLSS, and I also invested in TRCH. These were short-term trades with very high returns. And each one of them have had a, a little bit of a down uh cloud uh sig quite significantly down uh and maybe i might consider reinvesting them after but these are short-term plays uh and please stick with this channel i'll be sharing more short-term plays more analysis my portfolio will always be changing uh, i'll be looking to take profits and looking at reinvestment and i hope to share my upcoming investments with you please like and subscribe